what is up guys in today's video we're going to be talking about the boss medallions in chapter 5 season 2 because they changed quite a bit from how they worked in season 1 as always if you guys do enjoy this video remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more and comment down below which of these medallions is your favorite so in season 2 these medallions no longer regenerate shield and they now grant abilities instead and each medallion has its own unique ability and you get these from defeating bosses at any of the new pois with season two the bosses no longer just spawn in at the start of the match you have to like go to their altar and challenge them there'll basically be like a column on the map and then you go up to that and activate it to challenge them and i've seen people say they wish there was some sort of indicator of whether or not the boss at the poi has been eliminated kind of like how it was last season where you would see the boss character on the map the column this season is that indicator so if you zoom in on the map you will see the column if the column is there, no one has fought the boss yet. If the column isn't there, then someone has fought the boss. It's, uh, that's just the way it works. So first, we're going to talk about Hades from Underworld because his medallion is the most simple, I think. This gives you 50 Siphon when you eliminate somebody. So if you guys didn't play when Siphon was in the game, you would get 50 health or shields depending on what you needed when you eliminated somebody. So think of it kind of like how Chug Splash work or some of the, the Slurp Barrels where it gives you both white or shield depending on like what you can take if you had like 80 health and you got an elimination with hades medallion you would get 20 white health to put you up to 100 and then 30 shield it only gives you shield when your white health is full um and it just however much white it takes to fill you that is subtracted from how much shield you'll get so if you had 80 you would go to 130 if you had 130 and got an elimination you would get 50 more shield and so you would be at 100 white health and then 80 shield you don't go over though like if you got an elimination when you were at 180 you would just go to 200 you wouldn't get that extra elimination so it's pretty simple it's just plus 50 filling white health first uh i think siphon was one of the best mechanics we've ever had in the game like ever so having this as a medallion is pretty nice and this is probably going to be my favorite medallion in season two the Cerberus Medallion is at Grim Gate, the nearest POI to Underworld, and this gives you zero point dashes. In Season 2, you can also get zero point dashes from going in the green water at the new biome. And when you have zero point dashes available, you'll have these green skulls around your character. You can hold up to three at a time. The water is the same way. You get three when you go in the water. The difference with the medallion is they now regenerate over time. Um, and these zero point dashes are very good. And this medallion is very good, I think, as well, because this movement mechanic isn't as common for people to play against. So it really throws off other players when you use this. And it's something where you're activating it, you know, so it's a little bit easier for you to play around and kind of plan around because you're making it happen. Whereas the enemy has to react to it uh, in real time just as it happens. Uh, and like I said, you'll have the green skulls around your character if you have the dashes. So one thing you could do in team game modes is take the medallion, get your dashes, and then drop it for your teammate, and then have they'll have dashes as well. You keep the dashes after you drop the medallion. The medallion just allows you to regenerate the dashes. So that is something you maybe want to keep in mind in team game modes if you have the opportunity to do that. Obviously, kind of making sure everybody gets it in squads might be a struggle. But if you're at a dull moment in duos, it, it could be pretty easy to drop the medallion for your teammate and have them regenerate some dashes as well. Uh, that way you both have zero dashes going into the next fight, but you just got to be careful about how you use them. I think the zero point dashes are very good, but they sometimes can throw you off. Like I've had times where I try to shockwave and kind of like jump when I shockwave, you know, and I think maybe I like multiple times like hit the jump button because that's how you activate the zero point dash you just double jump so you hit the jump button twice and then kind of push your movement in the direction you want to go if you want to go backwards you use your movement backwards if you want to go to the side you go to the side front you can zero point dash in any direction but i've had times where i try to shockwave and i guess i have the habit of hitting the jump button multiple times just kind of subconsciously you know um and then i would use my dash to get out of my shockwave and the dash doesn't combo too well with the shockwave from my experience like if you shockwaved and then while at the peak of your shockwave tried to zero point dash it didn't really do much for me uh but you can sprint around and zero point dash and get around very quickly so the zero point dashes are great mobility if you wanted to take this medallion and then maybe not have a mobility item at all that's something you could do um and 
you know, it's definitely better in a situation where maybe you just don't have mobility. You get this and then you have something. I, I think that's quite good. Uh, and, and you also will not take fall damage if you zero point dash. So the Cerberus Medallion is very good. I think the zero point dashes are very good. Um, and I think it's one of the better ones as well. The Ares Medallion, I think, is the most interesting and the most kind of like difficult to talk about. Uh, this can be found at, I don't even know the name of that POI, but it's on the bottom and it starts with a B. Uh, it is Brawler's Battleground. You can find Ares at Brawler's Battleground. And the what this medallion does is it increases your damage with ranged weapons. And I've seen a lot of misconception about this medallion. I've seen people say, oh, since it affects ranged weapons, that means DMRs and snipers only. But it, as far as I know, it's just any bullet weapon, um, even shotguns. And I've also seen a lot of misconceptions with how the damage is increased. I've seen people saying it's just plus one damage all the time, which is not true. That might be true for some weapons, but it's not the case across the board. And then I've also seen people say it just makes your weapons have the damage as if they were gold. So if you had a green weapon, it now is basically gold. That is also not true. It's hard to find any sort of like consistent rule that works across the board for every weapon and every weapon type with this medallion. I've compared a lot of them with and without the medallion and I've, I kind of did the math and tried to figure out what the percent was, but like some weapons it was 3% and then some weapons it was all the way to 6%. So that wasn't just like a consistent factor. Um, the easiest way that I can kind of explain it from what I've seen after comparing a lot of different weapons is the weapon will basically have the damage as if it was one rarity higher with the medallion. And in some cases, it might be that exact damage. And in some cases, it might be like plus or minus two or plus or minus one or two, you know, depending on the situation, uh, compared to what it would be if it was like one rarity higher. But as like far as like a general ballpark statement to kind of simplify it and break it down, I, I think just plus one rarity higher is the easiest and most consistent way to look at it. I'll have a clip on screen now that shows this because when you view the weapon stats in your inventory, it will show what the new damage is gonna be if you have the medallion in your inventory. So right here, you can see my white pistol has 24 damage and then the green has 26 and the blue has 27. And then when I pick up the medallion, the white now has 25, which is one less than the green. The green now has 28, which is one higher than the blue. And the blue now has 29, which is one higher than the purple. So, like I said, it, it might be plus or minus one or two damage or a little bit of damage. But the easiest way to look at it, I think, is just plus one rarity on whatever you have if you have the medallion. And the gold gatekeeper shotgun, interestingly enough, has the same damage as the mythic gatekeeper shotgun with this. So, I, I think that's pretty good because the gatekeeper shotgun is really solid. but um i don't like the attachments on the mythic one so having a gold gatekeeper with extended mag and this medallion you have the damage of the mythic one with extra rounds i think that'll be quite good shotguns uh as always with rarity increase is where you're going to notice this the most and when i looked at the shotguns that seems to be the easiest kind of comparison of just plus one rarity uh so you have a green auto shotgun it'll basically be blue and and that's pretty good so i think the aries medallion is really good it's complicated and kind of hard to talk about but i think the easiest way to look at it is just plus one rarity and that's like an easy kind of way to view it the zeus medallion is interesting but i think it's also kind of the most boring it just gives you most boring in terms of what it does and what to talk about because it's really simple it gives you more sprint uh, like faster sprint you have more sprint duration and you have faster sprint region and then you kind of have like a an extra jump while sprinting you'll jump higher and all of that is great but like i said it's just kind of okay cool you sprint faster it's not as unique as some of the other medallions still good though um i had thought yesterday that when i tried to do the zeus sprint jump you jump higher i thought that i was jumping out of my shockwave range when i used it and that was one reason why i thought this medallion wasn't very good but you can still sprint jump when shockwaving using this medallion. It's kind of like soaring sprints. Uh, I just think that either I was zero point dashing in that situation accidentally where I messed it up. Or maybe just the game glitched and my shockwave bugged for some reason. Because if you guys have played Fortnite, you know that happens. So you can still sprint jump with shockwaves using the Zeus medallion. Um, and also, you 
will not take fall damage if you do the sprint jump. If you just have the medallion in your inventory, you can take fall damage. I'll have a clip of it on screen now. Uh, but if you do the sprint jump, you will survive. So it's similar to soaring sprints if you played in chapter four. Like you could die to fall damage if you had soaring sprint augment, but if you did the sprint jump, you would be fine to fall damage. And the Zeus augment is kind of like that. Now I'm going to talk about the size of the zone uh, based on how many augments you have. So I'll just have a clip of that playing where I kind of showed this in a custom match. Uh, so you guys can see how large the zone is and how much it is giving away your location based on how many medallions you have. All right. So with chapter five, season two, there are now four medallions. And this is how large the circle will be revealing your location when you have one medallion. So go ahead and pick up one. That is how large it is. And then go ahead and pick up a second one. That is the size with two. Go ahead and pick up a third one. That is the size of the circle if somebody has three medallions. And then go ahead and pick up the last one. And then it gets super small. So having two or three really isn't that big of a deal. But if you have all four, it is incredibly small. Um, and one medallion really doesn't give away your location much at all. So with that, you can kind of tell that having one or two isn't that much of a difference, but having four, you are really, really advertising your location. That's when it gets like bad. Um, I, I feel like last season, even if you had like two or three, you, your circle was pretty small and it was going to be very easy for people to kind of predict where you were. And I think kind of showing that clip is helpful, not only for you to know how much you're giving away your location, but if you're pushing somebody, knowing the size of the circle, you can kind of predict how many medallions they have. Uh, and that can be nice to know. So, yeah, I, I think having two or one or two is fine. Having four is a stretch. If you just don't care about giving away your location, then go. Yeah, sure. Go for four. But if you want to have the benefit while also not like super giving away your location, maybe stop at two. Um, And it's hard to kind of say which two are best. Like if I had to stack rank them it's hard i think they're all very very good i i think hades would be my favorite and then the cerberus one provided i get better at not wasting my shockwaves when using it and then the Ares medallion and then the zeus one but i do think you could kind of move them a lot like the zeus one i kind of have at fourth and i think i'll always have that one at fourth but it is not bad by any means i just think it's less unique uh none of these medallions are bad but between hades cerberus and Ares. I feel like they're all interchangeable between like one to three, um, especially depending on the rarity of your loot. Like if you have really good loot, then maybe the Ares medallion isn't going to be as big of a deal to you. But if you're in a game where you don't have that great of loot, then the Ares medallion is really going to be nice for you to like boost up your damage and more damage is just always going to be good. Right. And then the same is true with the Cerberus medallion. Like if, if you don't have mobility for whatever reason, like you just can't get shockwaves or you used all your shockwaves then having this medallion is going to be like a, a game saver, you know? And then Hades is the same thing. If you're getting like chain third partied or you're in a situation where you get third partied a lot, then that siphon is going to be very helpful. But if you don't get third partied very often in that match, then it's not going to be as big of a deal. So you could, I could definitely see people moving the Hades medallion maybe to third if they kind of view things that way. But I just really like siphon. But I think all these medallions are good and I will probably... Try to be using one or two if I come across them. I think four is a stretch. If I had all four of them, I think I would take three and leave the Zeus. But it would really depend on the situation and kind of how I feel at the time. Um, but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting. Um, as always, like I said, comment down below which medallion you think is best and how many you're going to carry. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.